Hello, welcome to Keeves Pie Tutorials. Today this is a short little video just to talk about one of these little DC power supply units. I originally saw this on the EEV blog on YouTube and um, it's a tiny little thing, costs about £20 um, off eBay and it's, it's a brilliant little thing. So there's, there's a few models available. This is the um, DP30V5A, so it's basically the 30 volt 5 amp version. There's a couple of different models, but this one here, just go through the specs for you. It can, um, the input voltage is 6 to 40 volts, output voltage is 0 to 32 volts, output current is 0 to 5 amps, um, and output power 0 to 160 watts. So it's a fairly inexpensive um, variable power supply. You can um, specify the current and the voltage so you can operate in constant voltage mode or constant current mode. It's good for limiting currents to your um, circuits. And um, today I'm going to show you how it works and how you can use it to um, help spec out your Pi Wars motors and your motor drivers and um, yeah, just show you what it could do basically. So this is a power supply unit. I originally came across it um, by watching the EEV, EEV blog on YouTube and he's, he's done a little review of it. But it's um, a full power supply unit. You, it's got four terminals on it. You just feed um, in, positive, negative, and you get an output positive and negative. Uh, it's a buck converter only, so whatever you feed in, so you feed is feed in um, 12 volt, you can't get any more than say 11 volt out of it, but it's fully adjustable. Um, it can take up to 30 volts in and it can deliver 5 amps output, so um, I can output 30 volts and or sort of say 28, 29 volts output at 5 amps, which is pretty cool from something this size. So I've got this powered from um, a dirty PCB um, power supply unit plugged into an old computer power supply. So let's turn that power supply on. I've got it connected up here to the 12 volt. So if I turn this on, you should see, so if I turn that on, you should see it boot up. And there we've got a um, nice little power supply. So we've got the voltage, this, these are the outputs. So the output voltage, the output current, and the output power in watts. It tells us, if you can read that, Tells us the in voltage, so it's reading 12.15 volts. Um, at the moment, we've got a red power button that means the output's not on, so I could turn it on there. It um, can deliver constant voltage or constant current, um, and it's currently set at 5 volts at 0 0.6 amps, 600 milliamps, and there's a setting so we can set the voltage, we can set the current. We can set the overvolt protection, the overcurrent protection, overpower protection, the brightness of the display, and there's um, 10 presets, M0 to M9, which we can um, set these up. It's um, pretty awkward to set presets, but I have worked it out. The instructions look like this. Um, Took me a while to decipher. No, there is a there is an English version, which English, um, but you can, after a bit of playing, you can figure out what it means. But um, the reason I'm doing this video, I, I just thought it was really useful. This is um, working on our Pi Wars uh, robot at the moment, and we've deconstructed a Nerf gun for one of the challenges. So this is the um, power unit to the Nerf gun. So there's two motors here which run in opposite directions 
you feed a Nerf pellet into the back and it fires it out the front. So this is um, a set of 5 volts, uh, 600 milliamps. So if I turn this on, just watch this constant voltage there when I turn it on. The motors will spin up and it's 600 milliamps as it spins up. It it's constant current and then when it's up to speed it drops sort of down to about 500 milliamps. So what happened there is as it was spinning up it wanted to go above 600 milliamps but this this little power supply unit it was limiting it to um, 600 milliamps and it went into a constant current mode and you can see the voltage um, I'll do it again just watch the voltage this time you see the voltage increases gradually it doesn't bang straight up to 5 volts as it speeds up it gets to 5 volts and it's I quite like that actually it's quite it's kind to the motors it doesn't bang the motors straight up to full voltage um, and it allows them to get up to speed uh, it's also you know would be beneficial to have something like this on the robot to prevent a massive power draw on the on the battery system and potentially causing a problem with the Pi and pulling voltage down so I'm gonna have a look at that I've already seen a couple of ICs that might be able to do it um, this thing doesn't need a lot of current so I think the 600 milliamp is fine for firing a pellet in fact let's give it a go Up to speed, put the pellet in. Yep, lovely. So, just to give you an idea, let's um, turn the current. Whoops, let's keep that at 5 volts. Let's turn the current up to 5 amps. 4.6 that will do and just see how different it behaves this time straight away we're up to 5 volts and we didn't see what the current went up to let's see what the current peaks at 1.4 I saw there sometimes it, it goes up to 1.9 amps which is you know would be a massive drain on the batteries for a, um, a Pywars robot definitely 1.4 amps there so, so what I'm going to do now is turn this back you can see this number here I'll pull it back to 600 milliamps and I'll show you what else happens as well so if we turn it on it obviously takes a bit longer to build up speed that won't be an issue during competition but if I stall it watch the voltage so we're only drawing 600 milliamps, the motors have stopped, but the voltage has dropped right down as both motors stopped. So we're not really damaging anything. There's only 0.7 volts running through there and it's pulling 600 milliamps. So I let go, it will spin back up. So turn it off. that's not going to be very good if you're running the drive motors like that, so they'd stall very easily. Um, but for something like this, it's, it's, it's a good way of protecting your batteries and making sure the Pi doesn't drop out due to low voltage, etc. So I just thought it demonstrated how the motors work quite well. So like I said earlier, um, you wouldn't really want to run your, your drive motors on a PyWars robot sort of in a current limited versions as you want all the current you can get out of it but one of the questions you hear often on forums about motor choice and motor driver choices is how, how do you um, choose the, the suitable driver and suitable motors so a power supply like this um, can tell you quite easily you can also do it with a, a multimeter just in, in the current section but it's quite quite nice to see the voltage and the current all together so what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it at 5 volts 
but I'm going to put it up to its limit of five um, five amps. five amps there so turn it on and then I'm going to stall the motors and that's going to tell me what current these motors stall at and just pretend these are your drive motors for your PyWars robot at the moment um, so let's turn it on so we saw it peak at 1.5 amps 1.4 amps during spin up it's pulling 5 volts I'm going to stall it now and see that it's pulling for 3.6 amps Let's do that again. It's running nicely at 500 milliamps. Imagine your, your robot's moving along and it comes to an obstacle and, and, and it sort of gets a bit hard for the motor to pull it and they get stopped. You can see 4 amps it pulled there. So if I was um, choosing a motor driver for these motors, I'd want to make sure the motor driver was capable of, of supplying 4 amps. So if it was only a 2 amp motor driver, you're likely to come into issues there, either burn the motor driver out, um, yeah, or or just have a pull the power down on your system and um, have the pie cut out. So it's useful this doing this. I could have done this with a multimeter as well. Just connect a multimeter in line with the voltage, um, and it will tell me what the current draw is when the motors are stalled. So when you're choosing your motor driver, get your motors first power it up with a power supply like this or just directly off, a, off your batteries put a multimeter in line with it um, spin them up and then stop the motors and see what current draw your motors pull and that is your current your stall current that you need your motor driver needs to be able to supply um, it's unlikely that all all four of your motors will be stalled at the same time um, but, it, but it is possible so it's best to play safe you could probably sort of get a 3 amp motor driver um, and get away with it but yeah in, in the heat of battle in competition do you want to rely on that so I'd strongly suggest you you do this test and you, you get your motor drivers sized appropriately so I hope you found that useful um, just wanted to demonstrate the power supply, I thought it was a great little device and um, show you how, how it could be used in um, determining how much current your motors were drawing for your robots etc. Just as a bit of an update, I've been working away on a case for this um, now and I've, I've come up with this, so I've, I've drew this up in Fusion 360 it's got um, obviously the power supply unit in there with um, some terminals for the positive and ne negative um, at the back it's got a power switch and it's got a 2.1mm input jack so I've got a power brick on order from China on the slow boat apparently um, which is making its way here um, so once that arrives you know it's a portable easy to use power supply I've ordered a 28 volt power supply so I'll be able to get sort of 25 volts out of it which would be plenty for what I need to do um, laser cut back laser cut front and um, 3D printed top, bottom and sides um, just screwed together with some 3 mil um, machine screws so yeah, I quite like that I'm going to put these, these files up on Thingiverse probably so I'll put a link in the video below so if you're interested in that um, check the links out in the, in the um, video information below thank you very much